everyone this is your girl Jessica and I am back with another tutorial so today we are going to be um, sewing the little lizard king on swim pattern okay super cute they have a lot of different options the options that I the option that I am doing today is the tie back um, crop version and um, so let me just tell you what we have so with this pattern here you would need four ties front and main lining back and main lining okay two sleeves I'm doing the long sleeves um, neck binding the back bottom the back of the um, bikini and the front of the bikini and you will also need the lining okay so let's get started okay so let's construct our bodice part of the top of the swimsuit so this is my main I'm gonna get our main fabrics and we're gonna put those right sides together okay okay so pin at the shoulder seams here and this is right sides together So the, the tutorial tells us that on our lining only, what we're going to need to do is beginning at one half with the one half inch from the start, the starting back center piece here, we're going to trim off one fourth inch around the cutout. Okay. So let's see. So it looks like we're going to cut around the a, a, a one fourth inch around this circle part here. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so I have trimmed off the one fourth, at least one fourth inch of the of my lining here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? I'm going to take this to my machine, and I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance on both my lining and my main bodice. Okay, and I will be back for our next step. Okay, so I have my main, I have my main um, shoulder pieces attached. So now grab your straps, I mean not your straps, I'm sorry, your ties, and we're going to put them on top of, right sides together of your back bodice. Repeat this same step with your, for your uh, lining, okay? So let's take this to our machine and we're going to sew a half inch seam allowance using our stretch stitch. Okay, so I have my ties attached to my main bodice. Grab your lining bodice here and we're going to put them right sides together on top here, okay? Okay, so I have, let me get this straight so I can show you, you won't get confused because I was a little confused a while ago. Okay, so this is my main, my main bodice here, my main um, fabric, all right? And baby, it's just like that, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna take my lining and I'm gonna put these right sides together, just like this. All right, make sure, let me start with, get these straps right. Okay, just like this, you see? Make sure you can see this. All right, and we're gonna open these seams up too, okay? So we're gonna do this on this other side, all right? Hold on, so match these babies up. And we're going to pin along this circle piece here and along the the ties. So let me open up my tie seams here. And I'm going to pin all, the, all around the circle. The open hole here. 
these ties almost confused me. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but I did right. So, so right now I'm going all around the circle hole here first. And then I'm going to match my ties up. And pin those together. All right, there's one side of it. I'm going to stop right here, okay? I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna sew any of this, all right? So just stop right here where you have your little tie seams are, okay? We're just trying to enclose that. All right, get this other side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to start here where my side, well my side, well, my back open here where I cut it open and attach my um my my strap, well my ties. Sorry about that. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go all the way around, around the back hole on the other side. All right, and then I'm going to stop over here where my other other seam is where I attach. I'm gonna trim one fourth inch of my raw ends and then I will be back. Okay, so I have my um I have it attached. And I've also trimmed off my my um, raw ends. Okay, so now what it tells us is to do is to cut a little slit right here between the between the ties and the bodice here. Okay, just cut a little slit right there. Let's cut look, one a three eighth inch slit on both sides, just like that. Okay, now let's turn it. To the right side. All right, so now we're going to attach our sides. Okay, so this is my front of my bodice, my swimsuit, and this is going. This is the back. So I'm going to take the um, the right sides together, put my sides together on top, just like this. And pin. And I'll repeat the same step for the other side and the lining. Okay, so I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance to attach both my lining and my main bodice, okay, using my stretch stitch. I, and then I was just finger press my side seams open and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my bodice turned right side out, okay. I also went and took this to my machine and I based my lining and my, um, and my main fabric together. Now, this is what it looks like back. And I don't keep it tied up. It'd be really, really cute. Okay, so now let's work on our uh, sleeves. Grab your sleeves and we're gonna put these right sides together. Fold them. I'm going to pin, pin along this long side here and I will also uh, use a half inch seam allowance and with a stretch stitch and I will trim off my raw ends with using my serger. Okay, so my sleeve, long sleeves are done. So bring in your swim top here. Okay, bring in your swim top, pull one to the side. All right, and I'm going to turn this on the wrong side, okay? All right, my swim top is on the wrong side. Grab one of your sleeves and your pins, and we're going to place the sleeve inside of that armhole, matching the side, matching the side seam and the armhole sleeve, okay? Now, it's up to you. If you wanted to go and um, just do a basting stitch to it so you can make sure that your lining does not move. If that if you think that may happen, just do that.
Okay, so now let's take it to our machine and sew. Okay, so I have my sleeves attached and now grab your elastic, okay? And what I have right now, and let's see. So I grabbed the size elastic that I needed and I fold it in half. And then I put a mark here, that's my center, okay? And then with my swim top, I'm going to match my side seams up and going to find the center of my front, the front of my, of my top here. Okay. So I'm going to find the center of my top here. Okay. So I got that marked. All right. So now, this will be slippery, baby. All right, so now grab your elastic and we're going to put this one, put it, match the centers here, okay? Just like that. You can pin or clip. I can't find my clip, so I'm going to pin. All right. I'm, I'm attaching, I'm clipping both my lining and my mane to this elastic here, okay? And then... I am going to go on one side of my, you see where that little spot that we had clipped? All right, I am going to put my elastic there. Okay, where we did the little clipping. All right, and do the other side. And pin. I'm just going to take this to my machine. I'm going to do a straight stitch to attach. I'm going to pull it slightly so then it can, you know, so it will um, just, as I do my straight stitch, I'll be pulling a little bit all the way down here. And then I'll, when I'm done with that, I will turn it on. I will turn it and do another stitch on it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, so when I'm done, attaching it then I will flip it again and do another zigzag stitch. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay so I have attached my elastic. Look a little ratchet but it is what it is. It's my Miley. <laughs> but I've attached it. I've attached it okay. Um, super cute. Now let's it's time for our neck binding. So grab your neck binding and we're going to put this put the short ends together just like this. We're going to pin at the short ends and we're also going to sew a half inch seam allowance okay i'm going to do that and i'm going to show you how to um, attach it to our neck okay so my neck binding is done here so what you're going to do is we're going to fold these in together with the wrong size touching just like this okay i'm just trying to put some pins on it just to keep the song on the go Slipping all over the place. There ain't even no water on this yet. Okay. Now, this is my back. And we're going to match it together like this. And this right here is considered my front. I hope you can see that. Okay. We're going to match the back and the front together. And this is going to be my side. So, I'm just going to stick the pin right there. That's my side. Okay. Took me all my life, but I got it done. Set this to the side for a second. All right, now let's quarter off our our neck binding, okay? Let's put it in half. Let's find our back. That's my back, center back. This right here is my front. I can't, I can't really see it. All right, just pin it. All right, this is my front. Here is my back, just like that. All right, remember that the shoulder seams are not quartered, okay? So now what you do, you're just gonna move that front, this front here to the back, just like that, and we're going to just smooth this out. Smooth the front, them sides out, okay? And here is our side, our quarter. All right, boom, here, smooth it out. It's right here, okay? Take this off. 
Okay, so I have my neck binding quartered. Right sides together. I am going to grab this way. Okay, so here's my back and I'm going to right sides together with the raw ends touching. Place my back over it just like that. Put these back pieces together. Okay, boom, just like that. All right, now my front. I'm gonna match my fronts together. I know it's maybe a little hard to see, but I'm trying. Okay, gonna match my fronts together. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance. Um, attaching my neck band and I will also take this to my I um, take this to my serger and serge off all of the raw ends okay so but just make sure and you just do a little slight stretch okay on it but making sure you get all of these dang pieces it's a whole bunch of them that's what it seems like but they really ain't that many but how slippery the sun gun is it's just seem like it's a thousand pieces all right so we're gonna do that and I'll be okay, back so the top of our swimsuit is done okay woo we this thing was slipping sliding dipping and tripping all right <laughs> all right so next let's start on our bikini bottoms <laughs> oh, tickle me maybe think of spongebob <laughs>